Okay, I got a lot of people wanting to know how to put text on a on a circle. So I've got two texts typed out here and a circle obviously. So I'm gonna select the first text, hold shift, select the circle, then you go up to text, put on path. Let's put the text on the outside of the circle. Now if I click off, you don't want them both selected, and select just the circle, then click it again. You get these arrows here and spin this around. Now you can move that text around wherever you want it. If you want to get it perfectly lined up side to side, you can come up here to your measurement bar, pull down a guide, and then you can move your text around, even it up where it's, you know, more even on a horizontal plane there. So then you can take, when you're done with the guide, you can just take it and throw it back up in the measurement bar there and it'll go away. Or you can s click on it and hit backspace and it'll disappear. So then when you're done, I'm going to want to put this, this text here on the circle. If I don't convert this to a path, it'll throw this text on top of that and it'll just follow it wherever I move it. So I'd want to select this text. Shift Control Plus, convert it to path. Now I can select this text, select the circle, text, put on path. Now I click off, select just the circle, double click it, and then move it around to where I want. I obviously don't want it upside down. So then I would select it, I come up here and flip it horizontally or vertically, either one. That moved my circle down, but that won't really matter. Now I can click off. I can move that text around where I want it, down here at the bottom. Now obviously, I don't want it on the inside of the circle. I want it on the outside. I don't want it all scrunched together. The easiest way to do that is click just the text. Come over here to your text tool. And then highlight that. Hold Alt and the down arrow and move the text to the outside of the circle so you get it where you want it and then you know once again you can bring a guide down line it up side to side if you want then when you're done with it get rid of your guideline and that's basically all there is to it now this here if you don't like the spacing too when you move it out if it's spaced out a little too far or whatever you can select your text tool come up here and adjust the spacing between letters you can scrunch it together if you want widen it up whatever you know to what to where it'll match the top text a little better but that's that's basically all there is to it when you're done shift control plus convert that to a path now you line your circle up here, union your text to the outside of your circle, and you're done. That's about the easiest way I know to do it. Hopefully that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.